the um the Baptist labor and delivery tour um I'm sorry ahead of time if I didn't do such a good job at recording because recording wasn't allowed pictures was but I was trying to get video instead of pictures but um so I had to do it as secretive as I could but they have some really nice rooms like I advise y'all to book a tour and go there yourself because they have it really looks nice up there So these elevators here, this is where the express elevators will let you out. So you'll come straight up here and you're, you don't have to find anything else. <laughs> it delivers you straight to this desk. This is where you will check in. So you will check in at this desk whether you're here for a triage check, um, whether you are here for a scheduled induction or a scheduled C-section. You'll go right there and they'll get you all situated. This waiting room is designed to be just for mom and the support person. The rest of the family will be downstairs, okay? So we're gonna walk in, I'll let you peek at a triage room, and then we're gonna go see the labor floor, okay? Well, is it worth it? If mom has an epidural, it helps us position mom in a way that keeps the pelvis open. Um, we rotate a lot on that baby with the down in the pelvis. Y'all can walk around, look around, and ask any questions that you have. So this is the giant family waiting room, 10 floors for all of women's services. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Oh, you're fine. So lots of seating. At the far end, we'll walk by it, but there's lots of tables for eating. If you have kids coming to visit you, there's little touch screen games back in the right corner. There's vending machines, bathrooms. So kind of make yourself comfortable. They've got it kind of sectioned off where families can kind of have their own little groupings and stuff. So it's nice. Y'all feel free to look around if you'd like. situation for dad to sleep on. <laughs> 